Hey, whoa, man, you hold it. What are you doing here? Well, I'm hitching a ride with you. Right back where you came from. I just dropped off the prison laundry. You just dropped off Matron Spitz and some of the other prisoners at the secret hideaway. And that's exactly where we're going back to. Oh, I get it. You're a guard and they're not cutting you in. Yeah, something like that. Now, why don't you say you start that engine and get moving before I start taking target practice on your weekend. Okay, you two, what's this little conference all about? We weren't tired, so we were talking. Oh, well, I guess I'd better find you something to do, huh? There's some boxes with files in the other room. Come on with me, we'll get them. Now! Oh, never mind, the delivery's here. One of you girls, help me with this. It's about time. All right, come on, wake up, everybody. Uh, I will be back in a minute. Just get going. I don't know what to do with this stuff. Just watch me and the quake a lot. What are you doing here? I mean, is something wrong? How is Charlotte Young behaving herself tonight? Okay, I guess. You do know Charlotte Young, don't you? Of course. Well, that's funny, because Smiley just found her sleeping in Dorian Lord's bed. That's impossible. Oh, it may be impossible. I just want you to get her out of here. Get okay. Charlotte out of here. I will, I will. Charlotte? Charlotte Young, get over here now. On the double, Charlotte. Charlotte was feeling a bit tired tonight. So, I told her I'd take her place. Be you, Warden McFadden. Oh, ladies, it's, it's our leader. The man put in charge of rehabilitating his female inmates. <laughs> Warden, aren't you shocked to find out what Matron Spitz has been forcing these women to do? Aren't you about to call the police and have her arrested? Troublemaker managed to worm her way into our little crack factory, did she? Yes. Pretty clever of me, wasn't it, Warden? Yeah, your arrogance I almost find amusing. Here I was wondering how we were going to explain your death behind the walls of the prison, and here you've escaped. And we're going to have to track you down to some deserted place, and you're going to resist, and then we're going to be forced to shoot you. I want to thank you for helping us find your death. You wouldn't dare. Do I look like a man who's fooling around? You just announced your plan in front of all of these people. You did hear him, didn't you, girls? Okay, everybody, get back to work. Now, I mean, you're not going to stand by and let him take me out of here and shoot me, are you? Right, Cheney? Blaine, Maxine, Diane? Any of you? Do you think I would announce my intentions if I thought any of these misfits gave a damn about you or anything but their own lives? They know, just as you don't, Dorian, that I, I follow up my threats with actions. You are the worst criminal in this whole place. Because you, like Mitch Lawrence, are using your position for what? For nothing but greed. Dirty, filthy greed. Jimmy, get in here. Check outside and see if it's clear and start the car. Come on! Well, Dory, don't you want to say goodbye to your so-called friend? You're gonna have to kill me, too. Sit down, Johnson. Make it three, Sit down! Four! Give me that gun. First one of you to move! Jimmy, you take Dorian to, uh, the city dump. Yeah, 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 yeah. That seems apropos. The city dump. No. No! If you're gonna kill me, you're gonna do it right here. I'm not going. No! Got a knife. Okay? Got a knife. All right, Dorian. 
Now you either go right now and quietly or we're going to start shooting. We're going to start with Jeannie. We're going to shoot Jeannie and then we're going to shoot Maxine and then Mary and then etc. etc. until there aren't any left. It's just you. And then we're going to shoot you. I'm leaving it up to you. You belong at the bottom of the sewer. You know damn well I wouldn't let you hurt any of these women. Yeah, Warden. I'll go quietly. Spit! Stop the gun to your death! What are you doing here, Russell? Open up your little party, Warden. You fool, man! There's plenty to go around. I'll cut you in! Yeah, well, I'm dealing you out, and up against the wall. You too, Spitz. Move it! Go ahead. Oh, John, I'm so glad you're here. Well, I just wish you would have called a little bit ahead of me. <sighs> so you can celebrate. The police will be along shortly. Take your statement. Oh, all right. Can you believe it? And remember, you've got nothing to be afraid of. So tell the police everything that you know. And then McFadden and Spitz are going to be inmates themselves. Oh. Yeah, hopefully right here, huh? Yeah, John, why don't you lock yourself in here with us? We'll have a party, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Time out, girls. I have an announcement to make. There is something about this gorgeous, handsome, sexy man mm. that you don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is yeah. it? Uh -oh. Oh, no. oh, oh, my goodness. He's mine. Oh. He was mine before I came in here, and he's going to be mine when I walk out the door. All right, girl, all right. He came here just to protect me, <laughs> and he ended up rescuing all of us. Yeah. I'll leave you here a few minutes to say goodbye to your friends. Hey. It is goodbye, isn't it? I'm so happy for you, Dorian. I'm so grateful. But I'm really going to miss you tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to miss you too, Jeannie. But you're getting out of here soon, so... Listen, you call me. I mean that. Sure. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to miss you. All of you. Yeah, yeah, but uh, come back and visit, huh? Yeah, yeah sure. Charlotte, you just bet I'm going to come back and visit. And not only that, the first thing I'm going to do as soon as I get home is organize a citizens committee and fight the conditions here. And so help me, we're going to change them. Now come over here, you. I'm going to give you a hug. Whether you want one or not. <laughs> Take care of yourself, you jerk. <laughs> I will.